Join us in building a more fair and transparent future. Visit ParticiaBlockchain.com today. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. Today, we welcome straight from beautiful Ticino, Switzerland, Antonio Carriero, Chief Digital and Technology Officer for watch company Breitling, a top 10 Swiss watchmaker. Back in 2019, Antonio initiated what is now the world's largest blockchain project in luxury high-end goods, recently ranked by Forbes in their top 50 global blockchain projects report. Breitling has forged more than half a million NFTs, the most in the luxury industry. And welcome Antonio, who is going to explain to us what he's using them for and why it is time for blockchain. Thank you, Lotte. Very happy to be in Paris today. So, Antonio, as an expert in digital transformation, what led you to blockchain? Look, I'm always looking and searching, uh, trying to find something new, interesting in the digital ecosystem. And I was playing with blockchain by myself, trying to understand. And uh, in the same time, you had an interesting project coming up in the company about the warranty of the watch. And the combination of the two, providing, bringing together the warranty, the blockchain, bringing this to the customer, and also for the brand, it was the perfect match. So tell us about the project. How did you kick it off? Um, what did you do? How did you do it? And what have been some of the results? Um, the very beginning, uh, the, uh, one of the important steps was uh, to try to find a partner that is uh, a partner in the, the technology of blockchain, uh, helping us to uh, kick off the project. Uh, and we decided to link to, uh, to the relaunch of a new collection, a collection of Breitling called the Top Time. This is why I also named the project Top Time itself. Uh, and uh, with the internal team at the beginning, uh, we, we started building the initial capability from a tech perspective to empower and the, uh, the consumer through a digital wallet where you have a, a twin, a digital twin of the watch itself. And um, we went live in March 2020 with this uh, new initiative, uh, and we were absolutely very surprised about the, uh, the response of the customer with a very high adoption rate of uh, this extension of the watch in the digital blockchain space. How has the customer journey changed from pre-blockchain to after blockchain? The real impact of the blockchain is after the purchase. So imagine you buy this watch, you just bought a this nice watch. It's very easy to redeem the blockchain certificate by scanning the QR code or getting closer to the watch with your mobile phone. Once you have it, then we have a link between you, as the owner of the watch, and the brand. So brand, a link to the customer for open communication, suggesting capabilities, services of the watch. Or for example, imagine just you want to, uh, um, you lost your watch. You want to claim this to your insurance company. So these are applicable uh, scenarios to the very simple activation of the blockchain is uh, opening an incredible amount of possibility between you, the customer, and the brand itself. And this is what is very important uh, by keeping anonymous, anonymous your name, email address, telephone number. So you don't need to share those information with the brand to be recognized as a value customer from the brand. The blockchain wallet is allowing us to do this. Can you tell us what happens next? What if the customer wants to sell his watch? Um, yeah, this is another very important element in the watch, uh, in the watch trade is uh, the pre-owned watch market. Um, we transfer the property of a watch. Uh, I give it to my son and my daughter. I can sell the watch itself. So what is very important is to grant that this transaction is linked forever to the blockchain, always visible, so always traceable from a new buyer and also for the seller. So the digital certificate, the NFT that we bring to the customer is a kind of mobile POS that you have at your disposal that you can use to transfer the property. The transaction of transferring the property will be forever in the blockchain, visible to the new customer and visible forever linked to the watch itself. So how has this blockchain project impacted the sales, the revenue, the brand equity of the Breitling brand? Look, was, the, the outcome was amazing. We were also surprised by the high rate of adoption from the, our new customers, especially of the digital wallet, the blockchain, the NFT. So this is also bringing a new image to the brands in terms of elevation of digital capability beyond a very classical product. Now, this is part of our transformation as a brand. And after I mean, three, four years that we are building or transforming Brightling, we double our revenue, multiply by four our margin, and we multiply by five our brand equity. What is your recipe for success that you can share with, with our audience? You don't need a huge amount, uh, a huge budget to be able to start your project. Just uh, 
couple of good ideas, but don't think too much about ROI, capabilities, uh, complex business scenario. The value of the, the NFT, the blockchain uh, certificate, is the value of your product. Start by linking the two together in the blockchain, and by doing, you're going to discover what makes sense for you as a brand. For us, was really focusing on the consumer engagement, uh, a new audience of customer, and bring this level of transparency, traceability, and trade ability to our customers. So last word, Antonio, can you give us a scoop? What does Brightling have in mind for a future Web3 project? I have more than one, well, two scoops. The, oh. the first one today, you buy the watch and you get the NFT certificate. So through the wallet, the blockchain capability. Tomorrow we think about uh, first you can buy the NFT, then uh, through the NFT you get access to the watch, especially when it's about a limited edition. We have only a couple of hundred of uh, uh, watches, uh, and you have more than 2,000 points of sales. How we are going to segment uh, and allocate the product? Uh, through this, we change the dynamic, uh, and we even more empower our customer, the real user of the watch, to get to the final product through the NFT. The second most important uh, scoop, uh, uh, change for us is building this, uh, what we call a trading platform. You, as a Brightling owner, so you have the watch, you can get the NFT. Through this, you enter a trading platform to be able to trade a peer-to-peer -peer, a watch or a trade up to uh, the brand that watch if you want to buy a new one. Thank you so much, Antonio from Brightling for decrypting why it is time to bring blockchain into the luxury business. And join us next week where we will meet the CEO of the world's fastest growing company, Binance, and how his crypto platform is revolutionizing philanthropy. Thanks, bye everyone. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.